Hello guys, JNM here with a new Blender tutorial for texturing, in which I will show you how to use Layers Lucky Node, for example, from Substance Painter. Here's the material that we created in the previous tutorial. We have a diffuse texture, also known as albedo map, then a roughness map that we can adjust using a color ramp, and also a normal map. The textures are from textures.com and I added the links to the description. Alright, now let's collapse these nodes so that we have a little bit more space. And what I want to do now is to paint in a kind of overlay, could be a graffiti. So I change to texture paint. And here we have the texture slots, it's the diffuse. Then we have the roughness. And finally the one for the normal map. And you can see these slots have a certain opacity, which you can control using the overlays. Okay, here we have a texture paint and I turn down the opacity to zero. And then no matter which texture slot you selected, you can see the full material. But you can still paint onto the selected texture. I will show you in a moment why this makes sense. Now I could go ahead and just paint onto the diffuse map. For example with a white color, but this is destructive. This means I'm painting onto the diffuse map. But I don't want to change this texture, I want to paint over this like a node from Photoshop. I want to paint onto a layer that is above this texture. And now let me show you an approach for this that is similar to Substance Painter. I'm adding a new principled BSDF shader, I'm just duplicating the existing one. I select it and press Shift and D. And then we have a new principled shader. And the next thing that I will do is to add a mixed shader. To combine these two principal shaders and you can regard these now as layers. Okay, here it is and I connect the first principal shader to the slot at the bottom and the second shader to the slot above. Okay, now the first shader is overlaying the second one and the factor FAC is a kind of opacity of this overlay. Now it is white, when I turn it to blue it looks like this, with a factor of 50%. You can see here when I turn the factor to 1 it is fully masked. Then I turn the factor to 0 and the mask is removed. Alright, now let me add a real mask, a texture, a black texture, perhaps you know this from Substance Painter. With a black mask on a layer you can hide the layer below fully. Okay, so I click on this little icon to add a base color image. Set the color to black. Then it is added, it is just a black texture. But we don't want to add it to the base color slot. I want to use it for the factor of the mix shader. So I connect it to the factor and you can see what happens. The first shader is fully masked. And what I can do now is incredible. I can paint with a white color onto the mask. And what happens then is that the first shader is getting visible for the white areas that we are painting onto the mask. And this is the same approach like you know it from Substance Painter. We define a black mask and then we are adding white areas to it by just painting onto this black mask. And now you can see why I set the opacity of the texture paint to zero, because then we can see the full material and not the selected texture. When I set the opacity now to one and have my mask selected, you can just see the mask and this is black and white. And of course I could go ahead and hide again some parts by painting in black areas to the mask. And of course I could do this with the opacity of the texture paint set to any value I like. Now I set it again to zero and paint with a black color and of course I can adjust the properties of the shader. When I zoom in more I can paint harder edges. Just play around with this to get used to it.
And now I can show you that this approach is non-destructive because it can just remove the first layer and then you can see that we didn't paint onto the texture below. Okay, but it looks a bit artificial because we don't see the height information of the underlying material for the graffiti. But this can be fixed in a very simple way, we just have to connect the normal map to the first and the second principal shader. And now you can see this really looks like we painted onto this floor. Alright guys, there are many more things that you can do. You can play around with the lights, you can change the colors, you can add textures. But these are features that I will explain in the next tutorials. So guys, stay tuned. I really hope you liked this tutorial and my channel. And if you do, then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions or ideas, then add these to the comments below and I will answer these as best as I can. Thanks a lot for watching this and thanks for your support, if you like to support me as my patron. And I see you soon on this channel on JNM.